Welcome back. Meteorologist Dylan Day here with a look at those weather headlines. Your active weather pattern, we're getting a little bit of a break right now, but that changes tonight as heavy rain and gusty winds return to the forecast. We could see wind gusts across central and eastern Kentucky as high as 40 to potentially near 50 miles per hour in some of our ridge tops into eastern Kentucky. We get another break. Thursday, but then another system moves in Friday into the first half of your weekend, and then we're going to draw in some cold air by the end of the weekend. We do have those wind advisories that go into effect later on this evening, lasting through 11 a.m. for Central Kentucky, lasting until 7 p.m. tomorrow into Eastern Kentucky. And the ridge tops in Eastern Kentucky above 2,000 feet, that's where we could see some of our strongest gusts during that time period. Winds right now, not too bad. Um, again, sustained winds, 5 to 15 miles per hour. Gusts, though, are now approaching 20 to 25, so it's definitely breezy out there, and these winds will only increase through the remainder of the day. So let's track them out as you head into your later evening hours. This evening, we start to see those 20 to 30 mile an hour gusts popping up across the region. Notice how they're stronger the further east that you go. You see those oranges and reds. Those are wind gusts approaching 40 miles per hour. By tomorrow morning, that's where I think we get some of our strongest gusts between around midnight tonight, 8 to 10 a.m. tomorrow. You could get as high as 40 to potentially near 50 miles per hour on some of those ridges into eastern Kentucky. Get another batch of the wind late tomorrow evening into your overnight. And by Wednesday morning, we've got another bout of some gusty winds, 20 to 30 miles an hour as you head out the door Wednesday morning with a few snow showers possible during that time period as well. This system right now is continuing to move off towards the north and the east. That is well to our west. Oklahoma City seeing some showers and some thunderstorms. Same for Dallas, Texas. Some snow on the north side of this system as well. Taking a look a little closer to home, we have that easterly wind as the system's drawing in that wind here out of our immediate area. A closer look at home, see some upper level clouds really starting to move in areas north and west of Lexington. So let's time it out here with Futurecast. This afternoon, cloud cover increases, but we don't see any rain moving in until after midnight when some of those strongest wind gusts will start to move in as well. Tomorrow morning, as you head out the door, it's going to be wet and it's going to be windy. So be very careful as you are traveling to work tomorrow, especially if you're making the trip up and down I-75 on some of those bridges and overpasses. It's going to be noticeable not only with the rain, but the wind gusts as well. Into the afternoon, the heavier rain moves east, but notice how we're getting a little bit of clearing possible during the afternoon and early evening as well. That could increase our wind gust as some of that stronger air aloft gets mixed down to the surface with those clear skies. Same thing happens into some of the heavier downpours overnight will happen with clear skies tomorrow morning. And then uh, tomorrow, excuse me, tomorrow afternoon, then Wednesday morning, we're left with some light snow. Not going to accumulate much, but it will lead to the potential for some slick roads as well. Future rainfall totals. Through Wednesday, looking like an inch to two inches widespread, so definitely a healthy amount of rain. Shouldn't result in any impacts in terms of flooding, but it's going to be a healthy amount of rain for sure. Less than an inch of snow for everyone, but that could be enough to cause some slick roads, especially with a falling with temperatures below freezing. Future cast as you head into the end of the week. Another bout of some heavy rain and strong winds. This is Friday into Friday evening and Saturday. Notice all the rounds of heavy rain, and then Saturday morning, you could see some snow showers out there across the region as well. And then we're left with cold temperatures on the backside of that system. We're going to fall into the upper 20s by Sunday, and that's going to likely stay with us in the next week. Here's a temperature outlook for next week. Below average temperatures likely across much of the region. There's a quick look at your seven day forecast. So system one moves in tonight through Wednesday. Next system moves in Friday through Saturday, and we're tracking one more right after that into early next week.